Hi, welcome to another Autodesk Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do the helical Savonius rotor, which I did before in the other programs. Uh, that's one little bit problem. You get only like in uh, Solid Edge. No helix, but only a coil. Therefore, I will do it in the same way as I did it in Solid Edge. So let's start with the coil. Go to create and there it is a coil. First select the plane, then draw a circle, diameter should be uh, 100, no no, 2, 100, 100, yes. Okay, change it to pitch and height. Height should be 200, pitch should be 400, and make, see, I cannot make a section size of zero, so I will go for a square section. Make it on the inside, yes and make it, let's say, 4 and confirm. And I will use the edge as helix for my sweep. So maybe let's change to the patch environment. And I need a sketch on a plane with an offset because you see the edge is slightly above it's two millimeter above the ground plane so let's go for another plane with an offset to this one and the offset should be two millimeter okay and I need a for my sweep I need, let's take a look, sweep, I need a guide rail. So I will make a sketch for a guide rail as well. So go for a sketch on this plane. And this should be a line, which starts right here and goes up 200 millimeters. Stop sketch. Then another sketch on the second plane. I will hide the origin. And I need a sketch on that plane. So go for a sketch on this plane. And that would be an arc. Let's do a three point arc, which starts right here. Goes there and give it a dimension and the dimension should be 25 and stop the sketch now see that's the start point of my helix edge so let's go for sweep the profile type is path and guide rail the profile is this one the path is this edge and the guide rail is that line and I don't want to scale the profile so we go for none and confirm let's hide the coil okay now let's thicken that surface, go to thicken, I want to thicken that surface, I will do it symmetric and thickness should be 0 0.5, that's ok and confirm. Okay. Let's go back to our model environment and let's make a pattern 
a circular pattern. I want to pattern a body, this body. The axis should be the Y axis and make it full circle to instances and confirm. Now let's combine these two bodies. Go for modify, combine, one, two, confirm. And I'm done. So hope you enjoyed this video. See you to the next one. Bye bye.